Okay, so for this question, uh, find a for a part one, find this integration. Okay, the first thing you can see that this is a basic one, and this one is a more complicated one. Immediately, you should be thinking of f prime x and fx, fx type of question of integration. Okay, so one plus two x square, the f prime x of this is actually two x. So we have one and f prime x outside. Okay, so for a part one. Okay, it's the same as integrate of x of 1 plus x square power 5 is the same as I put a half here so I can put a 2x. Okay, I put a 2x here so that that is the f prime x and then you get 1 plus x square to the power of 5 dx. Okay, so 2x is the f prime x of this. And then you just get very basic, very simple. 1 plus, uh, let me just write properly. 1 plus x square to the power of 6 over 6. Okay, so 1 over 12 of 1 plus x square to the power of 6 plus c. Done. Okay, that's very simple. Part 2. Integrate x square cosine x. Okay, this is a super basic and common integration by parts question. And you need to do by parts twice. Okay. So, integrate of x square cosine x dx. Immediately, we know that u is equal to x square. D uh, no, it's not u. Is it u? Uh, u is equal to x squared. Yes, correct. dv dx is equal to cosine x. Because no matter how much you differentiate or integrate, you'll still get a trigo function. But whereas for this, you differentiate, you will actually get lesser and lesser. Okay? Until it becomes a constant. That's one way to see it. The other way to see it is to use liate as well. Okay? So liate again. Your u comes from the top and dv dx comes from the bottom. So this is trigo and this is algebra. Okay, so it's pretty obvious here. So du dx is going to be 2x and v, just integrate cosine x, you get negative sine x. Oh, integrate cosine x is sine, sine x. Okay, differentiate sine x to get cosine x. So after you do this, integrate, you get uv, which is x squared sine x. Minus integrate v du dx. So 2x sine x. x square sine x minus. Now, now you get one more here. For this case, we'll let u be 2x. dv dx be sine x. So du dx is now a constant where and v is negative cosine x because differentiate negative uh cosine x is negative sine so we need the negative here to become sine huh? okay so coming back to the question you are left with open bracket uv which is negative 2x cosine x minus integrate v du dx so you get negative 2 cosine x dx okay which makes things simpler now x square sine x plus 2x cosine x plus integrate of 2 cosine x okay because of the negative sign so uh let's see if i'm a bit of careless huh? uh this two if you got a plus there's one more minus here so it's still a minus sign yep so minus integrate of 2 cosine x. Okay, don't jump step. So not so careless. So x square sine x plus 2x cosine x minus 2 sine x plus c. So that will be the integration for the second one. Okay. So now part 3. Let's bring this down.
for part three. Okay, immediately you should see that we should we can split this up. Okay, into one that is related to f prime x over f x, and one is a tangent inverse. Okay, so for a part three, integrate of one minus x over two x square plus one. Okay, I split it up one over two x square plus one minus integrate x over 2x squared plus 1. Okay, so now we want to make this, there are a few ways to do it, there are two ways to do it, but let's make it, let's make the coefficient of this x squared to be 1, okay? So we can take out a half and we are left with x squared plus 2 minus in this case, the f prime x of the bottom is 4x. So I will take out one quarter to get our 4x here. Okay, 4x divided by 4 times 4 is still cancels out. So 2x squared plus 1 dx. Now, this is actually tangent inverse. You can get from MF26. 1 over a tangent inverse x over a. minus one quarter in this case just ln mod of 2x squared plus 1 and always remember your plus c so just simplify 1 over 2 root 2 tangent inverse of x over root 2 minus one quarter ln okay now because inside is positive we can choose to take take out the mod okay if not you have to leave the mod in so plus c so this is the part three's answer Okay, let's go to part B. Now for part B, using the substitution, okay, this one is a substitution question. Again, substitution is about replacing all your x away, in this case with u. So we will need to divide by du to multiply by du, okay? So that's why you always multiply by dx du. So it's still a dx here. So we need dx du anyway. So we need to find x in terms of u. Okay. Du dx sometimes works as well. Okay. Sometimes, but not all the time. Okay. So in this case, uh, let's check. So u equals to square root of e to the power of x plus 1. So u power 4 equals e power x plus 1. Okay, let's make this nicer. Or du dx, we will just we'll, uh, differentiate implicitly. Okay, so differentiate implicitly with respect to x. For u cube du dx. Okay, equals to e power x plus 1. Let's see. Uh, okay, no. We, so this is if we want to do in terms of u. Okay, if we want to do in terms of, let's say, uh, substitute, substitute 1 over du dx. Okay, it sometimes may be able to work. Okay, like for this case, what I will do is I will put as for u cube du dx e power x plus 1 you already see are uh, okay i i sh make a mistake here there should not be a plus 1 okay because differentiate 1 is going to be 0 so i can make e x a subject i actually get u 4 minus 1 so dx du is equals to 4 u cube over u 4 minus 1 so this is one way where we don't need to make x the subject and yet we can get dx du in terms of u. Okay, just one of the ways. Uh, you could also make x the subject. Okay, I have not tried this. Uh, let's we can we can try this now. So e power x equals to u power four minus one. X equals to ln of u power four minus one. 
looks not so nice. So the x du equals to 1 over u power 4 minus 1 multiplied by 4u cubed. Okay, you can see it's the same thing. So either way, it doesn't really matter. You just need to find in terms of u. Okay, and then we will then sub in to just cancel. We, are, we, need, we need to remove all the x in other words. Huh? Huh? So now we sub it in. Therefore, integrate e power 2x over this e power x plus 1. dx is equals to, so we already have know that e power x is actually u4 minus 1. We can use this one. Okay, so this is actually u4 minus 1 square. Okay. okay, e power 2x is actually e power x square over u multiplied by dx du. So we need to integrate this. Integrate of u4 minus 1 square divided by u. dx du, we have 4u cubed over u4 minus 1. du. Okay, so we just cancel this to become 2, cancel, cancel, cancel. We are left with integrate 4u square u4 minus 1. Okay, now it becomes simple. So this one is just integrate of 4u6 minus 4u square. Or you can say that um, 4u6, sorry, 4u7 divided by 7 minus 4u cubed over 3 plus c. Okay, of course, you must turn it back to x because the question is in terms of x. Okay, and we already know that x, we can now make use of this red color here. So if you use the blue color method, you still need to do these two steps anyway. Okay, ln of u4 minus 1. So 4 over 7 ln u power 4 minus 1. Now, the power 7 is to the whole ln. Minus 4 over 3 ln of u 4 minus 1 cubed plus c. Okay, so you can see some of the tricks that I like to use uh, is that I use the different type of brackets. Square brackets, curve brackets, okay? And to make sure that your answer is clearer during exams. Okay, so this will be the... Uh, wait, I think I made a small mistake. I should be replacing the u... Okay, sorry, I made a mistake here. Let's just uh, erase this part. Okay, that, uh, that was a mistake here. Okay, uh, again, so it is, it is actually you, I made a mistake. It's actually u4 that is really replaced you. Okay, u4 equals to e power x plus 1. So u is actually, we already have this. They already gave you this earlier, so we'll be using this. So this so this is actually 4 over 7, my mistake, e power x plus 1 times 7 over 4. Yeah. Minus 4 over 3, e power x plus 1 of 3 over 4. Okay. Finally, plus C. Yeah, this is the correct one. Make a mistake. Okay, last part. Without the use of a graphic calculator, evaluate this. Okay, so this is a standard modulus graph and uh, we can see that this is just Let's just change the color. This is just x minus 2, x minus 1. Okay, so when we plot the graph, we don't need a GC for this. Okay, 
it will just cut at year must be two, year must be one, year must be two. Okay, the important part is when it is positive and when it is negative. So the, the range, the limit here is zero to two. Okay, which tells us, which, which shows us here between zero to one. Between 0 to 1 is positive, and then between 0 to 2, uh, between 1 to 2 is negative. Okay? So a modulus means that we are just going to flip this graph here. Or in other words, from 0 to 1, the graph is x squared minus 3x plus 2. And from 1 to 2, the graph is negative of, is actually the negative of x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, if you flip it, it's actually the same as multiplying by a negative sign. You're turning it positive, turning the negative positive. So integrating 0 to 2, mod of x squared minus 3x plus 2. Of course, you need to show this one also, okay, to tell them where it's positive and where it's negative. It's part of your working. Okay, this part is part of your working. So this is equals from 0 to 1 x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx plus the negative 1 of integrate from 1 to 2 x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, I put a negative 1 so that here is the same thing. So we can just copy paste later. Okay. So when you integrate x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 2x from 0 to 1 minus same thing x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 2x from 1 to 2 then we just sub it in no? okay so when it's 1 it's pretty simple 1 third minus 3 over 2 plus 2, minus 0. Okay, so this is the first part. Minus. Put all the brackets that you can. So, um, x cubed over 3. So, 2 will be 8 over 3. Okay, this one a bit off. Normally, I will put a square bracket outside and a curve bracket inside. Okay. So normally it will be something like uh, this is just the norm the normal notation that we try to follow. Okay, so like big curve, then this one will be square bracket. So eight over three minus three times two times two, twelve minus twelve over two plus four minus then the same thing one third. Minus 3 over 2 plus 2. Okay. Then you just need to use your calculator for this. Okay. Without the use of the graphic calculator doesn't mean you cannot use calculator for this part. Okay. It just means that it's not used for uh, integrating directly. Okay. So 1 divided by 3 minus 3 divided by 2 plus 2. Okay. So... Let's convert the fraction. I will get 5 over 6. So the first one is 5 over 6 minus, minus 6 plus 4. So I will get 2 thirds. Minus 4 over 6. Okay, it's not minus uh not minus five over six careless. Two third minus five over six. Okay, minus five divided by six, and then five divided by six will minus this one, and your answer is one unit. Okay, of course when you do such a complicated one, there may be careless here and there. Now, I'm not so sure if that's careless, so I'm just going to use my GC to do a quick check from 0 
to two. That's why without using a GC, it means that most of the time you can just use the GC to do a check of your answer. Okay, that's like hinting you that hey, the GC can tell you the answer. Okay, so using the GC, you can see that you'll get one directly. Okay, let me just share the uh, picture in. Give me a moment. Okay, so just all you need to do is just key into the GC. And then you should get the answer. Okay, so I'm just copying the GC out and we are done. Okay, so you just need to use alpha window should be on number four. Okay, you get an integration. Then alpha window number one to get the absolute sign here. So just key in everything, you should get answer one. So this proves that the answer is correct.